but me. <laughs> Don't nobody love him. <laughs> well, maybe two or three. <laughs> but ain't nobody else say but me. <laughs> Woo! Don't nobody love him like I do. <laughs> Don't nobody love him like I do. Uh. Don't nobody love him well. Maybe you and you. <laughs> But don't nobody else love him like I do. Oh, come on, put your hands together. Uh. Ain't nobody say but me. 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 Ah, oh, shut up. Woo, Lord, help me. Oh, God. Woo, Lord, we have some service today. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Oh, praise God. <laughs> praise God. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. Lord of Jesus, Lord of Jesus. Ooh, Lord. Hello, Esther. Hey, baby. It's me, Sister Cantaloupe. Yes, baby, from the church. Girl, I'm blessed of the Lord and the highly favored of God. <laughs> Girl, you know this is the year of Jubilee. Woo, yes, sir, huh? What was last year? <laughs> Felt like it was Spike Lee, <laughs> Muhammad Ali, and Bruce Lee, baby. <laughs> I was fighting every devil out of hell, girl. <laughs> yes, sir. But I'm glad to be here. Yeah, where am I? Girl, I'm in Atlanta. Atlanta! Yeah! Woo! <laughs> Woo! I'm at Bishop Eddie Long Church! So we can, so I can, I, I can let you talk to him. Yeah, I got a few things to tell. I, it's just a few people. I just had them to stay out the church. Yeah, yeah. Cause I don't know which. I don't know how come people so be in a hurry to get out of church, and then when church turn out, they just stand around. I don't understand that. <laughs> I don't understand it. They be watching they watch till pastor get through, and then after the church they stand out in the vestibule. And huh? You want to speak to him? All right, hold on. Y'all say hello to Esther. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, girl, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, girl, hold on. This little boy messing with the offering pan. Boy, get away from the offering pan. Bad children at, at El, uh, 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 Newburgh. G get away from the offering pan. Are you gonna put anything in it? Then get away from it. I ain't your mama. Well, I ain't your psychic either, but I can see in the spirit. <laughs> You gon' need a band-aid. Cause baby, I'm gonna knock you out and pray you back, okay? <laughs> Lord have mercy. Huh? Some little bit, hold on, my mama. Oh yeah, well your mama got one out of peg leg, and that's why they call her I hop, alright? Alright? You know what? music on in church, huh? I don't care if it's iced coffee, iced tea, whoever he is, he sound like he got too much caffeine in him, turn him out. <laughs> Say what? I'm mad I can't rap. Hold on. Esther, hold on. Let me show this little boy what's up. You better get away from that pan before I knock you out. You act like you don't know what I'm talking about. It seems to me like you think I'm playing. Boy, I'll smack you unconscious. Do you hear what I'm saying? <laughs> smack you so hard, your grandchildren will faint. You think I'm playing with you? Well, baby, I ain't. You acting like you're Burger King and want to have it your way? Well, I'm Clean Eastwood, so make my day, okay? <laughs> Thank you. 
cheering. I tell you, bad cheering today. Yeah, girl. Hold on. Oh, Lord, why did she follow me here? My cousin Cucumber, girl. Girl, follow me all the way to Atlanta. Always begging. Hold on, Esther. Girl, I didn't know you was coming. Hey, how you doing, huh? No, baby, I ain't got five dollars. Told you she was gonna start begging. No, I don't have ten dollars. If I don't have five, I ain't got ten. Change for a hundred. You gonna change for a hundred? You gonna borrow five dollars me? Get, get out of my face. Girl, that's my cousin Cucumber. But you know her mind bad. Yes, girl. Cause she's still standing outside when it's thundering and lightning, smiling at the sky. <laughs> Why? She thank God taking her pictures. <laughs> Girl, don't invite her over to no see no football game. No! Paranoid that she can be on the, uh, Why not football? Girl, she think when the men going in the huddle, she think they talking about her. <laughs> Girl, you know her mind bad, huh? Yeah, I'm bitch, you at a long show. You know, it's at the church and everybody, everybody's still kind of hanging around in the best reviews and stuff here, huh? Yeah, he had me to speak at his church. Bishop Eddie Long, can you believe that? Had me to speak at this church. Yeah, girl, had me to, what I talk about? I talk about it's okay to laugh out loud with the Lord. Ha! Yes, sir. Yes, huh? Yes. But where did I come from? I came from Psalms 2 and 4, where it says, He that sits in a throne in heaven laughs. Ha! And I also came from Proverbs 17 and 22. It says, A married heart does good as medicine. Ha! Yes, sir. Girl, they, baby, they laugh themselves out, out the seat. Girl, you know they mind bad, too. Ain't got no sense either. <laughs> huh? Go on down to the other line. I'm going to see who, I'm going to talk to these people in, 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 in that so stayed out the church with me. Yeah. Go ahead and talk to the other line. I, I hold on. Hey, boy, how you doing? <laughs> this boy been sick. sitting here smiling at me. You want me, don't you? Oh! Oh! He talking about, he talking about, no, you big. I'm not big. I'm just fluffy. <laughs> My measurements are 50, 50, 50. <laughs> but ladies, for real, for real, ladies, for real. If it wasn't for, listen here. Boy, if I fall, that would be funny. <laughs> Ladies, if it wasn't for Monday, we wouldn't have nothing to do. Because what do we do every Monday? Start a what? A diet. Every Monday, we start a diet. Every, come on, tell the truth. You start a diet every Monday, don't you? You know, you know what I'm going to do, Mama? Start me a diet. But every Monday night, what you do? Pull out the refrigerator up to the bed, don't you? Listen, I've been on a light diet because I don't feel like I need to lose much. I've been on a light diet, y'all. I eat in the daylight. <laughs> in the moonlight. <laughs> and sometime at night by my night light. <laughs> oh, Lord. Hold on. Hold on. Well, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm back to this man right here. You're not married, are you? You married? Well, in the words of Kurt Franklin, what you looking for? What you looking for? I'm <laughs> 
I'm just messing with you. Who else I'm back? Girl, yes, huh? Now cut cucumber gone, girl. Yeah, she come calling me the other day. My own cousin come calling me the other day talking about, girl, I've been reading my word. I said, good. She been, you know, visiting uh, 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 Bishop Eddie Long's church. I, I knew she was here. I didn't just know she was coming. She, been, she said, I've been reading my word. I said, I'm glad about that, girl. She said, yeah, I just found out that God had a car. I said, hold on, baby. <laughs> now, God had a cow on a thousand hills. And he had, a, he had houses in the land, but I ain't read nowhere where God had a car. She said, yes, he did. God got a car. I said, how do, you, how do you figure God got a car? She said, it says right there in Genesis 3 and 24, God drove Adam and Eve out the garden in a ferry. moving to. I'm glad. She's moving up here to Atlanta. Yes, child. Yeah, I sent my friend Greg Brown to help her move up here. Yeah. She he came back and told me our house was small. I said, Greg, how small is our house? He said, we stuck the key in the lock and stabbed three people. <laughs> I said, well, baby, I hope she don't take all them roaches with her. He said, he said, well, I said, baby, she got some roaches. Baby, her roaches so bad. Baby, I went over her house. I went to step on a roach and flipped me down and took my money, okay? <laughs> huh? Say, say, oh, yeah, I wrote a song. All right. Uh, 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 hold on. Okay, I'm, I'm going to sing. I'm put the phone where you can hear them, okay? Esther want me to sing y'all a song I wrote about my cousin's roaches. <laughs> Listen here. Y'all know Kirk Franklin, right? Kirk. I'm sorry, Kirk. <laughs> he my friend, too. Y'all know that boy's short? That boy's so short, he can sit on the curb and swing his legs. <laughs> but he my friend, though. Don't y'all talk about him. I can talk about him. Huh, sit up here, Kirk, so they can see you. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I love it. Revolution. All right. <laughs> Anyway, Kirk Franklin wrote a song, and God's probably performed it, but I rearranged it for my own protection. <laughs> and the song goes a little something like this. It says, well, lately I have roaches in my house that's really got me down. Uh, and there's another one. Uh, uh, and there's another one. Uh, turn on the light to get a drink, and they just start running around. Uh, and there's another one. Uh, uh, and there's another one. Y'all, I can't explain it. Uh, I can't obtain it. Uh, Lord, these roaches, they are driving me crazy. Uh, Ray gets them high, and they skip and fly. Think about these roaches, they make me wanna stomp. <laughs> now y'all help me out, y'all help me out. Just do like this, just do like this. That's good, just do like that. Good. Now just hold your roach in the air. <laughs> and talk it like I just don't care. And if you got roaches like I got roaches, let me hear you say, oh yeah. People got some roaches. Oh Lord, I'm resting. Y'all hold on. Hey, Elsa, yeah, I'm talking about the roaches, girl. Huh? My other line ringing. Well, hold on, baby. Hold on, hold on. Girl, yes. Hold on, hold on. Oh Lord, I'm resting. Hello. Yes. How do you get my Celica phone number? <laughs> I, I'm at church and, and you calling my, my Celica phone. Well, baby, did, 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 hold on, hold on, did, hold on, hold on, I'm talking. Didn't you call yesterday? Right, 
right, right. And, and, and what I tell you yesterday? Right, that I didn't have no money, right? Right. Now, now you're calling back on today? Well, guess what? I still ain't got no money. And let me just serve you notice on tomorrow. I still won't have no money. But such as I have, I'll give out to thee, I'll give you G. See, they get off the phone every time. All from Jesus, they get off the phone. <laughs> hey, hey, Elsa, huh? Yeah, be a collector. Shoot, I told them Jesus paid it all, so I don't owe no more. <laughs> Cause a cucumber. Girl, I took her to Las Vegas. Las Vegas. Y'all shut up. Y'all been to Las Vegas? I accidentally bumped into a machine and a quarter fell out my pocket. I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway, went to Las Vegas. My cousin Cucumber, you know her mind bad. Went to the co and you know, when you get off the plane, I already have them little machines there. I already just waiting on you. Just want your money. And number demon machine just said, come here, give me your money, give me your money. So my cousin Cucumber jumped off the plane, ran to the first machine she saw. Put a dollar in, a Coke fell out. Put another dollar in, a Coke fell out. She just jumping up and down. Ah! Put another dollar in, a Coke fell out. Ah! Put another dollar in, another Coke fell out. Ah! The security guard came up and said, baby, what are you doing? She's talking about winning. <laughs> Y'all, we had to take 15 Cokes home with us. You know her mind bag, girl. <laughs> yeah. these people in my yard. God has her life. So, so, Elsa had to call, talk on another phone. I'm going to talk to y'all. Lord, I miss y'all look good. All of y'all, y'all look real good. And, and men, if you know you look good, make some noise. <laughs> Sit down. Sit down. That's tight. Women, let's show them how to really make some noise. Women, if you look good, make some noise. Stand. What's that one finger? And, and women, we, we know we look good. We just check our mirror every five minutes, don't we? Just checking the mirror. Just checking the mirror. Just checking. The, but women, we've been deceived, though. We've been deceived because we have stood in line for a long time for makeup. We stood in line a long time for the clothes. We stood a long time for shoes. And we've been standing in the wrong line, y'all. Because we've been deceived. You know what really, really been making us look wonderful? It was hair all the time. It was hair all the time. And there you stood patiently in line. For that dress, and that's a nice dress. For those shoes, and those are beautiful shoes. But it was hair. Ooh. It was hair. Achieve it, weave it. <laughs> but long as you ain't bald headed one day and got hair down to your ankles the next. Let's be believable. Put in an inch a month. At least let people think you're growing it. <laughs> and listen. We are still deceived. We're still deceived. Because ain't nothing wrong with putting a little hair in your hair. You know, they call it weave. Go ahead. We're going to say the name. Everybody's scared to say it. Now, weave. We put weave. Touch your name and say weave. But you're still deceived. Because how come women, uh-huh, that wear braids, uh-huh, think you don't wear weave? If you didn't grow it, ha, from the root, 
It's a weave. Oh, you don't believe me, do you? How come women ah, that wear phony tails, ha, think you don't wear weave? Ha, if you didn't grow it ta, from the root top, it's a weave. And how come women <laughs> that wear wigs uh, think you don't wear wigs if you didn't? Oh, from the oh, it's a weed. Oh, now you believe me! <laughs> <laughs> Y'all remember Kirk, right? Y'all remember Kirk? He's standing there. <laughs> Y'all can't see him. Hold on. There he is. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Franklin wrote a song, I'll rearrange it again for my own protection. It says, someone asked the question, why do I wear a weave? I don't like straightening combs and it covers up my BBs. Well, I guess you may be wondering, uh -huh, why don't I just buy a wig? <laughs> Y'all, I look and look and look for one. My head is just too big. <laughs> I weave because I'm nappy. I weave because I'm gray. And sometimes I just take a little shoe polish and paint the gray away. <laughs> oh, I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. I think about it every night and day. You think that's why my hair turned gray? I believe I can soar. I see me walking in the Chinese store. <laughs> 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 Asking for weed in a sack. You better know what you want or you won't get your money back. <laughs> oh, y'all know it's true. You know that's where you get your weave. If five inches, ten inches. One B, two B. What are you, girl? One B? Yeah, I know. I'm just messing with you. Look, man, I got on what we. Yes, you do. I say it. Yes, you do. Put your hands down. Anyway, <laughs> girl, I'm back, Elster. Huh? Your mother line ring. Well, hold on, baby. Hold on, sweetie. Hold on. I'm sorry. Hold on. I don't know why people keep calling me on my cell like a phone. Hello. Hey, sweetie, how you doing? Oh, girl, I'm blessed of the Lord and highly favored of God. Who is this? Oh, hey. Hi, <laughs> huh? sister, sister, big head. <laughs> how you doing? Girl, no, yeah. I'm, I'm in Atlanta. Yes. Oh, it's after church. Yes. Just walking around talking to the peoples. Uh-huh. Huh? You need prayer. You need me to stop right here after church and talk and pray for you. I mean, just stop what I'm doing. I'm wearing Atlanta. You on my cell phone, and you want me to stop and pray for you. Okay. All right. I I'm going to do it because, because I'm a woman of God, okay? And this is the year of Jubilee, and I promise to do right. Okay? I'm going to pray for you. you. You buy your eyes and close your head. Because, girl, I'm going to pray until the Lord himself come down. I'm going to pray until we shake our hell foundation. Bow your head, girl. Bow your head. Lord, you know. All right, you're going to believe in God, okay? Now, God already knows. I don't have to tell him nothing. All right, bye-bye. No. Hey, Elsa, I'm back. Get up, Sister Big Head. You remember Sister Big Head? Yeah, the one with them twins. Girl, yes, she's in the hospital. The hospital? Yes, child. No, her husband didn't put her in there this time. No, her daddy did this time. <laughs> no, her husband been getting along. I've been praying for her husband getting along. Her daddy just don't like her husband. Yeah, ain't like them since they've been married. Mm -mm. Now listen here, I'm not gossiping. I'm just sharing. Her husband 
ain't like the her, her, her dad ain't like the husband since they been married, girl. No, but she been standing by him. She she stood by him when the daddy sick the dogs on him. She stood by him when the daddy tried to run him over with a car. She stood by him when the daddy shot at him. But the husband ducked and she did. Now she's in the hospital. Pray for her. <laughs> Pray for her, girl. Pray for her. Yeah, she the one with them ugly twins. Girl, well, they're not as ugly as they used to be. Yeah, ugly and uglier. They're not as ugly as they used to be. Yeah, they're, they're about 12 years old. Now they got their first tooth. <laughs> they still ugly, huh? Girl, I told them they're going to get a job snapping hoes and donuts. Can I tell y'all? <laughs> keep them. Lord have mercy. I told a girl, I really got too many children living in my house. Pass along, I got too many children living in my house. You know when you got over 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 children, sometimes you don't remember. You, you know, you, you, I'm, not a, I'm not a bad woman. I'm a woman of God. I don't mind keeping people, but I got really got, listen y'all, I'm like mom and pop whiners. I got so many children, I done ran out of names for my children. I be saying, come here, B, B, C, C, D, D, E, E, F, F, G, G, A, 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 J, J. Cheerings. Hold, hold on, let me tell them about the cheering. You already know us. Let me tell the people about the cheering. Hold on, baby. I'm gonna put the phone where you can hear. Y'all, these children are ugly. Y'all, the children so ugly, I gotta take a Tylenol just to look at them, okay? The children are ugly. Listen, have you ever saw ugly walking in your house twice? It's like, oh, oh. Up. I said, hold on. <laughs> Boy, I'll come up on you like a bunion, okay? <laughs> you won't know I'm that till you put your shoe on, okay? <laughs> I said, well, how big was the woman? Said, Sister Callo, she was so big, if she leaned on Jesus, he'd fall. <laughs> I said, the woman was big. 
But y'all be all right. Y'all be all right because she didn't go to y'all church. She was visiting. Praise God. <laughs> so anyway, anyway. This little boy here, I said, so, 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 how you get the black? I said, she was sitting in the back of the church and, and Bishop started preaching and she got happy. And you know, all the, all the, all the dress that was sitting on the chair, when she got up, it gathered in the back. And she had a wedgie. I said, a what? A wedgie. A wedgie. Stand up, Sean, and show what I'm talking about. Stand up. <laughs> So I pulled it out and she hit me. I said, boy, boy, I can understand how you got one black eye, but how you get the second black eye? He said, I figured she was mad about it, so I stuck it back in and she hit me again. That, bro. Get on out my face. Who love? Y'all heard me sing a while ago, didn't you? Y'all love my singing? Shut up. Y'all tell the story. Y'all don't love my If you love my singing, give me a hand. Good. Hush it up. Y'all don't love my singing. Can I sing again? Good, because I was going to do it anyway. I was, you know, have you ever thought about what a musician go through or been through when they write a song? Have you ever just, just wondered what was going on in their mind? Like, like Bishop. Bishop, do you write songs, don't you? <laughs> oh, you don't? Okay, I'm sorry. Anyway, <laughs> you, you sing songs, right? I'm sorry again. <laughs> That's okay. I love you like a play cousin. We right here. We both can't sing. Anyway, have you ever thought about what a musician go through or been through when they write a song? Like, like, like this musician must have all of, a, all of a sudden had amnesia. He just, he was writing one day and all of a sudden he just lost his mind. He was just writing. He, and he said, he said, hmm, this, this sounds good right here. Call his name, Jesus. Call his name, Jesus. Call his name, Jesus. Call his name, Jesus. What's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Excuse me. I had some scatters today, and they're coming back to haunt me. <laughs> I, I know that y'all don't have this problem here, but in, in most churches, because y'all ain't got a room here, in most, in most churches, how come church people sit at the back of the church? What they think the pulpit gonna fall on? <laughs> pastor, we said, come on down, baby, fill in the pews. You gonna know, thank you, Pastor, I can hear you from here. <laughs> you can't walk and chew bubble gum at the same time, now you finna hear and see. And the pastor just preaching, Jesus huh, is in the room. Huh, he's sweeping through the building. Hey, hey, you better go, what do you say? What do you say? <laughs> Your friend tell me, I don't know, somebody Jesus need a broom to sweep out the building, all right? <laughs> Your cat on Taco Bell? I don't know. <laughs> and how come this is the only place you can do this and people know what that means? <laughs> Why do people hold their finger in the air when they walk out of church? What you think we can't 
can't see you because you got your finger in the air. This make me disappear all of this? You can't go into your job and do this. They put you out. You don't see people walking down the supermarket like this. Picking up items, putting them in the basket. What is this? The only place we can do this and get away with it. <laughs> I'm going I rebuke you in the name of you. You ain't gonna make me fall. <laughs> oh, and and I wanna talk to y'all today. I wanna talk to y'all today. Else to hold on. She she been holding on for years. I wanna talk to y'all today about faith and miracles. Faith and miracles. Now. Let's talk about miracles first. Miracles are things that happen that you don't expect to happen. Am I right? Now the first miracle that I could think of that would happen is Noah and the boat. Noah and the boat. The big miracle, I'm going to talk to you about the little miracle. The big miracle is Noah built the boat, right? Without a blueprint. <laughs> it had never rained, right? How do you know how to build a boat, okay? That was a miracle to build a boat without a blueprint. And I also get two fleas, two flies, two mosquitoes, two. <laughs> How did he catch the mosquitoes? Come here, come here, come here, come here. <laughs> and the flies, what did he do? Not wave himself or something? Not wash his body and brought them in? How did he get the mosquitoes and flies in there? <laughs> the rest, the roaches. Why would he want to bring roaches on anyway? They're going to come anyway. Why would you bring them on the boat? Roaches are going to be there anyway. <laughs> Well, when he got to the boat, the roaches was waving at him. Come on in! <laughs> We've been waiting on ya! <laughs> and the dogs and the cats. He got everybody in the boat. Close the door! That was another miracle. You got cows, horses, sheep, donkeys. You got all that stuff. <laughs> in a boat. With the door closed. Miracle. The big, the little miracle. That's the big miracle. The little miracle is he built a boat and it had never rained for 40 days. Right? I mean, for 40 years. I'm sorry, I see 40 days. I'm thinking about uh, Moses. Days, years, whatever. You know what I'm talking about, Bishop. <laughs> it had never rained before he built this boat, in other words. So if it had never rained before he built a boat, what grew the tree? What grew the tree to build a boat? That's the little miracle. Now let's talk about faith. Faith is that Jesus died on the cross, and you got to believe that. He died on the cross, hanging between two thieves. That was the faith to hang between two thieves and still have your clothes on, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's standing on the cross, hanging between two thieves. That was faith. And, 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 and they took him down, they put him in a barber tomb, and they... They, they, the stone was rolled away, and on the third day he rose. That was great faith, great, great miracles. But where's the little faith in it? The little faith is the man that loaned Jesus a tomb. That's the faith. Because that man had to go home to his wife and say, Honey, you remember that tomb we were going to get buried in? I loaned it out to a fella. Maybe be a woman of color, say, why are you, oh no, you did, why you, why you gonna loan our tomb out? Why you gonna loan, Ebonics, why you gonna loan our tomb out? Out it, to a, to a fella. And he said, Faith, don't worry about it, baby. He gonna use it for three days and then he's out of there. <laughs> Ooh, that's faith, that's miracles. Listen, how, how many of y'all got children out there? How many of y'all got children? Ooh, that's why this church so big. <laughs> how, how many of y'all got sons? Ooh, that's why this church so big. M mothers, you know daughters, you don't have to encourage them a lot. You can just say, baby, do this, do that, do that. And they sometimes get up and do it, sometimes they don't. But sons, you got to encourage them all the time, don't you? You got to encourage them to get up, take a bath. <laughs> get up, take a bath. Brush your teeth, comb your hair, here's your lunch, go to school, get a job. You gotta encourage them. That's all right, push them a 
Hold on. <laughs> anyway, I got a son. Oh, Lord. My son went out, bought himself a car without asking nobody. Came home with it, ran in the house. Mama, mama got a car. I said, great, 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 great. What kind of car you get, baby? He said, come out, you got to see it. It's a classic. I said, okay. Ran out there to see the car. He said, I said, where is it? He said, there it is. I looked down at it. It was a Pinto. <laughs> a Pinto. You remember the Pinto beans? That's what it reminds a Pinto. Why would anybody get up, get a piece of paper and a pencil, and draw a Pinto and then build it? <laughs> a Pinto. An ugly hatchback Pinto. So I said, well, let's go for a ride. I said, okay. So I folded up my fat and got in. <laughs> and we ride down the road, and he had a nerve to have a silica phone in a pinto. <laughs> a silica phone in a pinto. Who you gonna call? <laughs> Ghostbusters, cause this thing, this car is dead. <laughs> anyway, we ride down the road, and all of a sudden the phone rung. The car stopped, the lights came on, the windshield wipers flipped on, and the car flipped over. The car flipped over. This car is possessed! <laughs> so finally we got the car back up on his heels. We ride down the road again. Stopped at the stop sign. The phone rang again! <laughs> the horn blew, the lights came on, the windshield wipe was wiped, and the car flipped over! <laughs> this time when I woke up... <laughs> when I woke up, unconscious, some men were there helping us put the car back up on his three wheels. <laughs> and you know, men, y'all are so discovery. Y'all are so discovery. He said, looks like you got a flat. <laughs> I said, no, it's not a flat. The other three just swole up. <laughs> so after we get the car, ready to go, stuff, bitch. We got the car, <laughs> blow the tire up. It was Madame Mattel. We blew it up. <laughs> it was ready to go. When we get out of getting the car, the men wanted to take the car. The men wanted to take me and my son's car. Well, his car. And he's up, no, you know, men get bad. No, you ain't taking my car. I said, don't worry about it, baby, let him take it. No, mama, I ain't gonna let him take it. I said, don't worry about it, let him take it. So they jumped in the car, went on down the road. I pulled out my silica phone. Woo! And called them. <laughs> Got the car back. And then my son wanted to take me to go to an expensive restaurant. Expensive. So we ride up to the expensive restaurant and you know the car had backfired and BOW! Everybody hit the ground. <laughs> Baby, I thought we were doing the drive by. <laughs> and then this man <laughs> ran to our door and I locked it. He said, Mama, what you like to do for? I don't know this man, he's trying to hijack us again. He said, Mama, it's the ballet part. Then he ran around to the, and it backfired again. The man ran around, we rolled the window down. The valet park gave my son five dollars to park his own car. <laughs> oh, Lord. And speaking of, speaking of children, speaking of children, y'all remember when we were little? You, I, I, I understand why adults now are crazy. I really do. I understand why we are crazy. Because of the nursery rhymes we used to sing when we were kids. That's why we crazy. What was those, Bishop, was those people on crack when they wrote our nursery rhymes? What did, what did, it just, you know, what was they doing? You know, I know it was the 60s or the 70s or whatever it was when they was writing them or the 19, 1890s or whatever it was. But they wrote songs like, uh, ooh, I, I want a piece of pie. <laughs> the pie too sweet, I want a piece of meat. <laughs> the meat too tough. I want to ride a bus. <laughs> the bus too full. I want to ride a bull. <laughs> the bull too black. I want my money back. <laughs> Crazy. And hey, what about this one? You remember this one? Three, six, nine. <laughs> <laughs> the goose drank wine. The monkey hitched his car on the streetcar line. The line broke. Wonder why. The monkey got choked. And how with the heaven in a little rowboat? <laughs> Who are they thinking you know? And these, these are classics. And this one I love. Because this one had a speech in 
impediment when he was writing. He had a speech impediment. He said, oh, Mary Mac. Mac Mac. I'm dressed in black. Black, black. With silver buttons. Button buttons. Up and down her back. Back, back. She asked her mother, 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 for 15 cents. Cheering. Cheering. Listen, Pastor, did you ever ask, did you ever tell your mama whether or not you were going to church or not? I ain't never, Sister B, Beatrice, Sister Beatrice Garden is out in the audience. Sister B, did, we never asked our mama, told our mama, hey, what did your mama tell you? You going to church. You knew you were going to church Saturday night. What was you doing? Getting your clothes together. You knew Sunday morning you were going to church. Some pe parents now say, are you going to Sunday church tomorrow? What? My mama will walk in the door and flip the lights on and the covers back at the same time. She be like, well, fire! And then walk up in the door, bust it down. Right? And then she look at you like she was on a sword snaker. Oh, you still sleep? I'll be back. You had choices when she came back, didn't you? You had a choice between a belt, a pen, a skillet. Which one do you want to get beat with? And then some of y'all came in late. Y'all remember coming in late, like 6 o'clock in the morning. Oh, no, I like you been saved all your life. You came in late. 6 o'clock in the morning, she was in your room at 7. <coughs> Flipping on the lights and trying to break the skirt. Everything at the same time. And she coming out, and she be like Martin Luther King and Shirley Caesar. I have a dream. I had a dream that you was out all night long. You were out doing the jelly roll, the Tootsie Pop, the Cabbage Patch. <laughs> but I have another dream <laughs> that you're going to church this morning. <laughs> and then Shirley walk in and say, now hold my mule. <laughs> You're going to 8 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 12 o'clock, YWCC and BTU. <laughs> and just when you thought you were going home, we're going to tear it all night long. <laughs> and then, and then, and then, and then you, you, your mamas, your mamas, your mamas, the mamas today, the mamas today, ask their children what they get for Christmas. What you want for Christmas? We, we were glad to get what we got. a wooden doll. A wooden doll that had painted the face on. Actually, it was a stick, because I know it because I broke it. And I was glad to get it. My grandchild come in there talking about, I want some Nikes. I said, how much is Nikes? She said, about hundred and fifty dollars. I said, all my shoes together don't cost no hundred and fifty dollars. Bring me your old ones. She running up, bring them to me. I took out a big marker, check them off. Check the hat and her coat. She told my granny, now how am I going to wear this to school? I said, turn around, just do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and listen, we got to stop our children from looking at all this late night television. We've got to stop our children from looking at all, that's what's corrupting our children. Now, I'm not saying all the television shows at night are bad. Don't get me wrong. I love Jenny Jones since she done changed it, since she let me on there. I was on the Jenny Jones show. Y'all didn't see me did. Oh, you saw me? Ah, give me a shout out. Give me a shout out. Ah, ah. But, but I'm not saying just she good. It's 
a lot of them do, but, but, but these late night televisions, the one that come on like after dark and all that stuff right there. You know, like Shadow Jesse Ruffy Ellie? <laughs> Geraldo. And y'all, we gonna have to throw Ricky in the lake, okay? Cause she got all our children on her face. She got, she got gay people coming out the closet. People coming out the closet. Baby, if my child would've come out the closet, I'd beat him back in there until he came out right, okay? Girl came on there, I thought it was a boy. Coming on there looking crazy. Talking about she gay and she born that way and she don't know what to do. Well, baby, I got news for you. If you're gay and born that way, just be born again. Show. I could do my own show. And y'all know they got that psychic hotline now, Pastor. Say to stop calling on the Lord and start calling this psychic hotline. Wanna know their future. Crazy? That's what you're gonna be in the future. Crazy. <laughs> calling this psychic hotline. What do they know that the pastor don't know? What can they tell you that God can't tell you? <laughs> Pay your tithes and ye shall be blessed. Ask the girl, will a man rob God? She told me, in my neighborhood, take everything he got. <laughs> I'm so mad I called a second hotline. Shut up, it was free. <laughs> I said, man, I speak to Dion Warlock. I'm sorry, sorry, Warwick. <laughs> Show. So children, y'all close your ears. No, I'm just kidding. This is all gospel, all Christian. Get, uh, I, I, I need some. I need some. Come here, boy. You've been looking at me all night. Here. Come here. Yes, you. Why were you pointing at people that go, who, me? Yes, you. Come here. Come here. Come here. You look like big rugged. Are you, are you, are you, are you, are you, are you strapped? <laughs> you know, y'all had a secret angel, man. Y'all had a secret angel, man, here at Newburgh. I, you, 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 got, you got your ear on? You got, you got to sit there, don't you? I, I know, you got that eye on me. I've been seeing you. I've been seeing you. <laughs> That's all right. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Behind me. Come here, come here, son. Come here, come here. I'm just doing a, doing a typical regular show. And I, I need some, my, my two girls that came and saw me today. They came and, came and spoke to me today. Come here, babies. The two babies that came and saw me today, right here. Yeah, you and, and the other baby. Come here, where, where your friend at? Hurry up, baby, I ain't got all night. <laughs> we about to roll out of tape. All right, sweetie, you right here on the, on the end right here with the leopard. Come here, sweetie. Yeah, you. The one that says me. Everybody that says me, that's the one I want. Come here. <laughs> all right, come here. We, 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 come, on. come on over here. Don't be scared. I ain't gonna bite you. Yeah. Okay, you get in between them. Turn around. Turn around to the oil. You don't, don't look at me. Turn around to the oil. You come here. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. She's not gonna bite you. Okay. What do you want? <laughs> I know, but okay. All right, stay here. I better create something. Woo! Who, by the way, y'all, that's my mother sitting in the audience right there. Say hi to my mom. Man, nah, stay valley. She came on the show right here. She came on the show right here to tell this boy right here how much she love him. <laughs> I love your ears. I love the way your teeth shine. I love your jacket. She, why she couldn't have just called him on the phone? <laughs> we got email now. She could have emailed you, beeped you, but she had to come on the show to tell you all of this right here, just to be on TV, and her dirty laundry. And she came on the show to back her up. <laughs> no purpose, no purpose. Just the way she came up, no purpose. Oh, you got me, yeah. So, she came on the show to be ghetto fabulous. <laughs> Who starts fighting? Who starts fighting?
fight. The women, don't they? The women start fighting. Y'all look at each other. Turn around and look at each other like y'all mad at each other. They fight over the knucklehead. <laughs> Why don't they get the knucklehead in the middle? Okay. Why don't they get him? They just fight. These two fight. But guess what? Why they fight? Guess what? He's in love with him. All right. <laughs> <laughs>